What's going on everybody? In this video and the upcoming episodes, we have a few goals in mind. So the first goal in this video is to deal with pages. What is a page in React and how is it different than a normal component? That's what we're going to be talking about right now. The next goal is how we can do navigation and routing inside of React. This is directly related to pages because essentially we want to have an application that has multiple different pages and these are directly tied to different URL paths. After we talk about those two things, we'll have the functionality to switch pages by typing in the URL bar. But what we want to do is we want to tie that with our nav bar at the top of our website so that we can click through the different pages and have an active link that looks a little bit different than the rest. So right now we have this nav bar, but these links don't actually go anywhere. And this active one is really just hard coded. It's not really the active page. So we want to be able to switch pages and that highlighting switches to the page that we currently have selected. So let's get started with this video now and make sure you watch the next two because they are a group that you should watch together. Speaking of groups, that's really what a page is inside of React. So if you look at what we have here now, we have these different components, we have this add employee button, and these are all logically related. So we can think of this as an employees page. So I want to extract all these components and put them in their own file. That way we're not just polluting this app.js file. It works for now, but if we wanted to add more to our site, it's going to get really ugly. Additionally, if you look through here, we have this header right here on line 74. Well, the header in reality should surround the entire web page. That's because we want to have a consistent theme across all pages. So we're going to talk about how to do that in this video as well. So let's go ahead and create our first page by going to source, create a new folder, pages, and then right click here, new file, employees.js. Now, since most of this code is going to come from app.js, I really think it'll be easier just to copy this entire file, paste it in here, and then edit some of the content. So first off, this is going to be function employees, and this will change the export at the bottom. So employees, we can clean some of this old code up that we're not using, and likely we will need to update some imports. So this is now going to be a folder up, and then these will be changed over to a directory up, slash components, slash employee. Same here. There we go. Now let's go ahead and go back into app.js, and we're going to replace most of this code with just an invocation to the employees.js component. So we can get rid of all this state here. We can get rid of these functions. And we can get rid of everything inside of the return. And then all I want to return is a call to employees and that's going to be imported like so. Now when we take a look at our website, it looks exactly the same, but now our code is a little bit more organized and we have this employees page. It's as simple as that, that's how you create a page. Now I wanna show you how you can surround your pages with a header instead of kind of having the header embedded in each page. Because when we have say five pages, we don't want to have to do that for every single one, we just want it to be automatic. So what we will do is we will go into the employees, we will find where we have the call to the header, which is right here, and we're going to remove that. This is actually going to go back in app.js, and inside of this return, here's what we're going to do. We're going to surround employees with the header. So don't close it here. Instead, we're going to have a closing tag after employees, so it'll look like this. So now, you can think of header as wrapping the employees component. Right now, it's not going to work. We just see that header, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that in just a minute. But you can imagine having other tabs in here, you know, maybe we have a tab for file management. And you know, maybe we have a tab for discussion. And now we have this header surrounding everything, so we don't have to go put it in each one of these components. Now this is not the exact syntax you're going to use, 
just kind of using it as an example. We'll figure that out in the next episode. It will be pretty similar though. So what we need to do is inside of header, we need to say props here and anything that is inside of these open close tags is going to be added to props in a property called children. So what we can do is we can scroll to the very bottom right before this fragment and we can say we want to render all of the children that are inside of the header. So to do that you say props.children inside of curly braces and you can imagine this being inserted into this location. It's going to do that for us automatically. What that means is our website should now have the employees page showing. Functionality wise, our website looks exactly the same. It does this exact same thing, but structurally in our code, it's a lot better because inside of app.js, we now only have like four lines of code here, five lines of code inside of the app function. Everything related to our employees is brought to its own file, so we don't have to mix it in with a bunch of other junk. And our header is now completely separate from our employees component, and it works automatically by surrounding the component, the employees page. So make sure you understand each one of those things. In the next video, we're gonna talk about adding pages and how to make URLs associated with different pages. That all has to do with routing, which is a really big part of React. So I encourage you to check that video out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.